Hi, this is me, Bogendra, and I'm a structural engineer. So I have came with a new software that is Sive, and you can see here we have done the G plus 11 story building, and this is high rise uh, comes in under high rise. So today I'm going to show how can we generate a drawing. Suppose you are doing uh, some project in ETAB and Start Pro or Tecla software, then we require uh, some drafting. And for a drafting, we have to spend a lot of the time and we can also check and verify all the codes, whether this is possible or not. So I have a came with a Scythe software. This is a pure extraction analysis software where we can do the different types of the project. As you can see, I have done this G plus uh, 11 story building and which is a purely verified by the IS code 456. And we have a different code also for the concrete. And you can see also in this extraction I have done this is a plan and designing of a school and where I have done this is G plus 3 story building and all the design codes are the proved or the, all the design codes are the verified by the code also IS456 so today I am going to show how the um, this software generated drawing or we don't have to spend a lot of the time in a drafting also so drafting is also one part so, of the construction where we have to spend a lot of the time in a drafting so how this software makes uh, our work easier because the today the building is a become one of the major construction to develop the society and country so i have taken the this these two structure uh, this is two, two structure is a purely and this is a real structure of the bangalore and and this is a government project of nepal actually i am from the nepal only and from the lahan and this is a small project of the government this is seminar hall and i have done and the analysis and design of the, this uh, building so today i am going to show how this software help you to generate the different drawing and we don't have to spend all of our time in uh, drafting so we have the beautiful option here and you can see the drawing generated option here and through which we can generate the different types of the drawing which is a requirement for a site so uh, let's check the what type of drawing we require for a site for the construction and I have uh, set the different uh, drawing whatever I have required or what I required for the construction. Just we can take the example that is a floor plan. Floor plan for a longitudinal top and bottom reinforcement we require for a construction of the slab. And frame drawing it means we are taking the um, all the details and designing of a uh, frame. It means a beam drawing we can uh, uh, take from here. And we have also floor plan that the uh, beam number and different size whatever we have used in a um, we, whatever we have uh, done for the analysis and design of a building and column layout that uh, what is the distance between the one column to another column that we can take from here and we have also floor plan floor plan for a foundation reinforcement and different reinforcement uh, we required for the construction so we have also mm, the floor, um, foundation reinforcement and uh, foundation plans also we required and before that before that I, I would like to say you we have a different code we have used and we can take uh, for a different, uh, uh, or we can use the different uh, grade of a concrete, as you know, the M25 or M30. And uh, for this project, I have required the only the M25 for the design and uh, analysis of uh, uh, structure. And uh, I have also uh, for the bar, uh, you know, different types of the bar, bar are the available in the market, this TMT and uh, HYSD are also available. So I have only taken a FE45, FE415, and you know the, what does it mean? The tensile extent of the bar is, should not be less than the 415 newton per mm square and we have also concrete grade there's a grade of the concrete as you i think you know very well uh, this is m25 it, it just it means that the extent of the concrete should not be the less than 25 newton per um, 25 newton per mm square um, by the curing of the 28 days and for this project i have a user 875 for uh, wind and seismic for uh, is 193 the 2016 or 2015 i have used because the, this is an updated version and for this uh, this uh, all the requirement and also we can check the what what the sbc of the soil we have to use here and you can check this is a 0 .0, 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 uh, that's i have taken and it means 200 uh, kilo newton per meter square and for the seismic i have taken we have to increase the 50 percent and we have to take for uh, uh, any project for the this uh, and this uh, project i have taken this all the requirements which is, a, which is a requirement for the analysis and design so let's we go for the drafting what types of the 
requirements or what is the requirements we need for the construction of the any building or building structure or any uh, construction we require here we, we ha have already told you i have said the different uh, um, drawing uh, the what we require for the construction and just we have the single clip for the all the um, reinforcement detail and all the detail we can get from the software so uh, let's check and it takes uh, some time so that's why i haven't taken the large structure or multi-story building so the small project i have taken to only show you or demonstrate you and give the s here and you can see the new templates i have opened by the software and go for the details of the all the drawing And you can see here the, all the drawing are the generated by the software which is the structural drawing or construction drawing we require for the construction of the any project so if you want to export this drawing or autocad go to the print all and select the, all the all the drawing in one file and here you can see the option we have the option for the where we want to keep this drawing and uh, this is the option where we want to put the drawing also and this is a display with a associate program so we want to open this file a uh, single file in a dwg format so we can go for this and accept the takes some time because it is a large file so And here we can see the all the drawing are the generated or we can uh, we have uh, export this drawing in AutoCAD so this is a DWG file format and what the column size and what is the footing size all the drawing details we can get here and we can also get the the bar bending schedules also which is a very important for our side for the uh, to find the cost and estimation whatever cost and estimation for the any project and we can also see the different size and shape of the whatever we have uh, input the design for the design and analysis of any project so uh, we can easily we can easily uh, we can easily generate the drawing by the software or we can easily uh, easily get the uh, drawing of any project and we should not have to spend a lot of time for the drafting so it is a very important for the construction also so um, so uh, if we require somebody require the any drawing we can directly take the print out and we can send uh, to the site for the construction so it is a very important for a, a structural engineer and uh, thank you for the watching